Hi everyone. I'll be showing a demo of IBM Text, which is a IBM Watson text-to-speech service. And this script is built um, with Laravel framework and fully powered by IBM Watson's uh, text-to-speech service. You can learn more about IBM's uh, Watson text-to-speech service by visiting IBM's website at ibm.com. And here is a URL for you. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you a demo of the script that we built. So this script is available in Code Canyon. Uh, it's an Envata platform where you can get the entire source code uh, along with the link for the documentation in terms of set, um, setting up. Um, now it's not, it's not a, it's a basically non-SAS product. There's also a SAS version called Cloud Poly um, and Cloud Poly is available in the link as well. Uh, in the description you can get both the link for the Code Canyon, the link for the actual uh, demo URL of the IBM text-to-speech service and you can actually play around and configure um, a test of all the IBM voices and IBM languages that are supported. Um, so here's a nice front end for you already created, which you can customize easily. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's inside. So upon logging in, um, by the way, when you will be checking out the demo, we already have included an admin demo credentials. Um, you cannot change much, uh, but the, the purpose is here basically to show you how the admin, admin panel works, what kind of benefits you can get, and these things are very important. So first thing upon logging in, you'll see admin dashboard. Now admin dashboard has some standard information in terms of the number of users, the new registrants, how many characters were used, and the estimated spam the spending. Now the IBM charges as the other cloud vendors uh, for per character. Um, so IBM, in this case, IBM charges per once or 10,000 characters or 20,000 characters. You can check more on the IBM's website and the pricing part. Uh, let's do it together. So they do charge you for each 10K um, batch. Um, where is the pricing? Um, okay, they, they basically show you um, the price per thousand characters. And if you just, you have to multiply it by whatever the number um, that been used, and that will be your total cost per month. They charge you based on your actual usage. So there's no fixed cost as with other vendors. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the main part here in terms of converting a text to speech. Now IBM is, the Watson service is very popular and very powerful uh, AIML service. Um, for example, the quality of um, IBM voices compared to other cloud vendors is uh, definitely higher, um, especially comparing to uh, Google voices. Um, so let, for example, just go ahead and show you. Hi there. So you can see it kind of sounds realistic. Um, Just a little more options here. And in this case, let's synthesize it uh, so that it actually be stored on the on your storage. Hi there, how are you today? So pretty amazing quality in terms of the, um, the voices that are provided by IBM. So let me walk you through about, um, about the text-to-speech page. So what you get here is you have to select the language. Um, IBM supports limited number of languages comparing to other cloud vendors. Um, and each, whenever you change the language, the voices are automatically updated so that it will show you only applicable voice for that particular language. Um, so there's some changes about IBM. So starting this year, starting the last few months, they started deprecating a couple of the voices, but they'll be adding the same or different ones um, starting next year. So stay tuned for that. As soon as that transition will happen, um, we will implement that into the script as well. Um, this is very important um, because some of the voices, uh, they are deprecating it, uh, but they're also adding new voices, uh, which is good. Now, IBM supports um, text uh, in terms of the output results in four different formats. You can generate in WAV file, MP3, OGG, and WebM. And OGG and WAV being well, uh, lossless. Um, WebM, well, I'm not expert in the audio, but that's also supported. What you can do here is also mix voices. So for example, I have, who do I have? Emily voice. And then if I want to add more, uh, let's switch it to Henry. Add a Henry voice. And the script actually can merge a couple voices together. 
So you get a single audio file. Hi there, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? You see, you, you don't need to use any kind of third party audio merging tools. Everything happens in one click, uh, which is amazing. Uh, you can obviously synthesize it to output text. I mean, to, to be stored um, within the within your storage, whether it's in cloud storage or local storage, uh, you get the idea. So the result will be stored here, which is, again, can be played later, can be downloaded as needed and so forth. And you can also see the text, what's what's inside there. Uh, when you when you click the listen button, obviously that just implies the listen button um, that you can only listen. In both scenarios, the actual credits will be consumed. So keep that in mind. And then you can also mix with various SML tags. Um, so for example, if I increase, so what you have to do is highlight the text, click on your the SML tag. Now in this case, it will basically say it's going to pronounce it uh, fast. Um, and then you can put other SML tags based as you need. Now one interesting fact here, interesting feature here, if you don't need to listen, for example, if you have like multiple voices here with a lot of text, obviously with some changes, you don't need to listen all of them. You can just listen to one that you require. Hi there, how are you today? As you can see now with the um, SML feature, which is a speech markup language, uh, you increased the speed of the um, pronunciation text. You can add various pauses between um, the uh, voices you want, or you can actually delete it or completely delete all the voices in one click. Uh, all the results for the current day will be stored down below, but you can also see all the past results uh, somewhere here under TTS audio results. TTS stands for text-to-speech. As you can see, the demo is available publicly online and people were testing it. Um, maybe let's see, I'm some kind of Emily voice. Seems like people are testing random things. Uh, you can also group them. So under in the TTS page, you had uh, uh, you could select a project and then you could create a new project of your own um, that basically will allow you to group under one place. Um, the other feature that I want to show you is the Sound Studio. Now Sound Studio allows to merge, let's say you created an audio file and then you created some different audio files um, and basically, and you want to add a, a background music to them. Uh, you could use Sound Studio to merge those, not only merge those audio files, but also add background music, uh, which is again, helps you to, in terms of uh, creating the output result in one place. So you don't need to use um, any other solutions or any other tools, etc. It's all can be done in one place. All you have to do is um, select the files. Uh, you can click anywhere, by the way. Uh, if you select on the beginning, you can move it, drag it, um, change the order. So the order goes from top to bottom and then it will be merged as you need. You can also add background music if you want and then set the background music um, voice, etc. Uh, but you also have to select the merging of the file format. Now currently merging is supported by MP3 and OGG formats only, uh, but in the future update we will add support for the merging WAV files and uh, WebM files. If you want, you can also listen all samples of IBM um, voices that are available in this script. Uh, basically, we, we included all the um, voices that are supported at the moment by Watson text-to-speech service. Um, they deprecated last year um, several standard voices, so that none of the standard voices are supported anymore. And currently, if you have an existing IBM and you've been an account and you've been using um, IBM to, uh, Watson services, and then you still have the one uh, access to the voices which are about to be deprecated. Uh, but the next year they will add again. At least that's what's stated on their uh, official page. Um, so here you can just change the uh, language and the voice are up to um, so this is mainly if, if, you, if you want to see the uh, quality of the um, IBM voices without actually testing it, uh, then you can do this. Uh, now be in my, uh, bear in mind that each tram, tram text-to-speech synthesizer actually consumes credits. Uh, by credits, I mean text-to-speech credits, um, which are charged by your cloud vendor. Um, but here you can increase the credits manually. So there should, in your account, basically you need to have at least a couple credits to uh, run the text or the credits enough for your the, for the length of your text. As you can see, this account has um, in your profile. You can check how many credits you have. So this account, um, the admin user has um, a bit more than five million credits um, for that can now. I should say characters, not the credits. Um, you can increase it. So there are two ways to increase it. One is a user can request. So basically by creating a support request, um, they basically have credit request, which, which will end up here. 
on the support request part um, the way user admin can add credits to them is by visiting the user management clicking on user selecting proper user that they want and there's an add credit part so you can add whatever the credit amount you want um, just be aware that um, the each each IBM has a uh, free tier for 10k of credits per month so everything above that one um, will accure some kind of cost so keep that in mind um, so we already talked about let's let's go to the admin panel we already talked about um, IBM I mean the main dashboard of IBM text if you go to the TTS management you can see in terms of the the actual insights of the how many synthesized tasks were created, list in tasks, how many total characters were used, etc. You can see all the results created by all users in one place, created by whom in terms of the username, and then you can all, um, actually enable and disable voices here in one place. So you can hear the listen for audio samples again, um, but also hear that now for the for the demo reasons these buttons are uh, are blocked. So you cannot uh, disable or enable them, uh, but suppose some of the voices have been um, deprecated. So instead of um, deleting them, all you have to do is just disable it in one place. That's it. Uh, you can rename the voice if you don't like the the name of the voice, etc. Doesn't it doesn't affect um, that part. You can change the avatars. So this is basically management of the voices, so to say. Now here you can customize the sound settings in terms of how many um, sound studio settings in terms of how many audio files you can merge the background um, the uploadable background audio size um, so you can put a limit on the actual audio files people upload for to, to be used as a background music and then there's something if you're testing it locally uh, you need to have ffmpeg codec pass on the configuration pass uh, TTS configuration page um, this is so one of the important pages in terms of you can set default language and default voice for the all new uh, registered people. They can also change it in their profile page, so it's that easy. Um, you can enable or disable all SML tags. Uh, you can allow or um, disable downloading um, the the listen mode results in case if you need. Uh, you can select the default storage option. You can put it in the S3 Amazon S3 bucket, in Wasabi bucket, or use your local storage as you prefer. Um, and then you can put in terms of the limitations in terms of maximum voice limit. Now the script is supported supports up to 20 uh, voices so that you can merge up to 20 voices in a single task. If you need to merge more, uh, you can just generate several of those and then merge them in uh, Sound Studio. In terms of the character limit, IBM has a hard set limit in terms of the the text, so it, it does it does not support max um, the single text more than uh, 5k characters uh, per single task. Um, so in this case, you can if considering that considering the fact that you can merge 20 audio files, um, you can generate up to one it's created single task with up to 100,000 characters. You can also give free credits. I mean. They welcome credits for new users so, so that they don't bother you asking all the time. I just give them from the beginning. Um, you can enable or disable front and the front end. We also have had some sample testing in terms of the synthesized task. Um, I'll show you quickly. Actually, it's open here. Um, so here you can just um, change the text as, as you prefer. I mean, uh, try out the text as, as you prefer. Uh, here are the keys that you need to put. Um, I am AWS API keys. There's a S3 bucket in case if you're planning to use um, Amazon S3 bucket as your main storage. The IBM part is very important as well. That's where you put your IBM key and IBM endpoint URL. Now in our documentation, we have instructions for both of them, for IBM and for um, setting up S3. So just check it out. Uh, the link is in the Code Canyon uh, page of this product. Now we've spoke talk about the user panel management and then you have general um, admin settings in terms of customized settings and changing the front end settings such as enabling disabling various pages uh, changing your logo creating blocks FAQs some um, customer reviews um, or even cases um, which basically is something like this um, as a demo case which will allow people just to test okay how this script could be used Again, there's a SaaS version of this product in case if you want to do your create your own startup business of uh, converting text to speech. And standard um, 
front-end management pages, including, uh, you can also set Google AdSense page. On the general settings, that's where some important configuration uh, places, that you, and configuration settings that you can change or custom or edit as needed. So one of the important ones is SMTP settings. Now in case if, for example, um, sorry, I clicked the wrong button, but um, yeah, just to mention it, you can also enable or disable logging in with uh, user social media accounts. Now on the registration page, if you enable the um, user email verification to make sure that only verified emails can be registered, uh, then first you need to set up your SMTP settings. Um, so that's very important. Um, you can also disable new re user registration so that nobody can register. You can take a backup, your activation keys, and then you can, um, we also have a one-click upgrade um, the feature. So when the new voices will be released, we will be releasing an update, uh, which you can just update with just one click. Everything will be handled for you. So that's a short demo of IBM Text, the text -to speech service. So check out the links in the description. If you like the video, click like and subscribe because we will be releasing more. And I hope you like it. Enjoy.